the problem of the last four or five days, I get more than that even now, of these riots, of this building up, the reason that it was allowed to go on so long and get so bad is that there were a lot of squishes in politics, not just on the left, on the right as well, at the local, all the way up to the top. And they were buying the rioters' premises. And because they were buying the rioters' premises, they were allowing the riots to go on. And because they allowed the riots to go on, the riots got much, much worse. And a lot of innocent people got killed. A lot of innocent people had their livelihoods destroyed. Nothing good came out of it. What were the two premises? The first premise of the rioters that they bought was that there's a national epidemic of racist cops hunting down innocent black guys whenever they leave their homes. That isn't true. There's no evidence that that's happening. Nobody benefits from pretending that that is true. It is simply not the case. There are sad incidents that happen. There are instances of injustice that happen because all human systems involve injustice. It is not possible to get rid of injustice. People telling you that you will perfectly get rid of injustice are selling you a utopian lie. And historically, when, when people have sold utopian lies, they've bred a lot more misery than they were replacing. That's the first false premise. The second false premise is that this was ever about racial injustice or or being heard or having a listening session. It was never about that. It was never about that. It was about stealing stuff and creating chaos and harming innocent people and pursuing people's selfish appetites. That's what it was always about. <laughs> okay. And they, they lied to you. The rioters lied to you and made you think that it was about justice and, and peace and equality. It's not, it was never about that. And only rubes would be taken in by that con. Not the case. I think finally now people realize it wasn't about being heard. Cause you know, if you want to be heard, uh, smashing windows and stealing Nikes is not a great way to be heard. For days, everyone seemed to have been under an ideological spell. People thought that enforcing laws was tyranny. People thought that arresting criminals was unjust. People thought that grievances, real or imagined, justified attacks on innocent people. None of that was true. And then people woke up to some basic truths. They woke up to the idea that law is good. Order is good. Violent temper tantrums should never be indulged. And the most basic thing they learned is that the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. So while many weak left-wing sheriffs and law enforcement agencies around the country were standing down, not doing anything, the good law enforcement agencies were standing up. A sheriff in Polk County, Florida, Sheriff Grady Judd, warned the criminals, warned the rioters. He said, guys, please, I'm pleading with you for your lives. Do not go and break into people's homes because if you do, you're not going to like what's waiting for you on the other side of the door. We have received information in social media that some of the criminals were going to take their criminal conduct into the neighborhoods. I would tell them if you value your life, you probably shouldn't do that in Polk County because the people of Polk County like guns. They have guns. I encourage them to own guns and they're going to be in their homes tonight with their guns loaded. And if you try to break into their homes to steal, to set fires, I'm highly recommending they blow you back out of the house with your guns. So leave the community alone. I love the, the politeness. Now they have guns, they like guns, and if you break in, I am highly recommending they blow you back out of the house. I'm not ordering them to. All right, this isn't a tyranny here. I'm merely making a suggestion that they use the guns that they have and they love to blow you out of the house, to blow the violent intruders who are threatening their lives and threatening their property out of the house. If you enjoyed that video, and let's be honest, of course you did. I hope you did. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so everyone waiting through the wasteland of YouTube knows that we have the best content out there.